and welcome back to my channel guys so i want to actually introduce you guys to my new drying rack that i end up getting from kitcher you guys i absolutely love this drying rack i am showing you guys this because it truly does make a difference in my kitchen and i want to show you guys everything that actually comes with it and actually how much you can fit onto it and just some things that it actually offers for you to put your dishes and stuff on so right here is the holder for your silverware and guys, it has so many different little like things on here that you can actually hang your dishes on. Right here, you can actually put your wine glasses, which is so convenient because I've never seen a dish rack that actually has a wine glass holder. So right here, you guys can put your wine glass on here. And then right there in the front where you guys see the logo at is where you can put like extra plates. Also, some cutting boards too as well, which is very convenient because we all use cutting boards and we never have really have no work to dry them, at least I don't. So this is right here um, for like a cutting board or just anything extra you would like to put on here. Okay, and then next guys right here, I am showing you guys at the bottom of it, it actually has a drain to where it can actually drain onto inside your sink and which is so convenient guys. I wanna show you guys everything that it can fit in here. What I love about it is that it has the little slots for like your knives and your better knives that you actually cannot put inside the dishwasher. So I love that. And then on the other side, you can just put like your silverware, etc. And guys, if you don't know, um, it also has a drain down um, up under by the silverware that actually drains in the middle and then comes out the side too as well, which is perfect. And I absolutely love that, guys. You guys, I would highly recommend this so far because it has really made a difference inside of my kitchen. Kitcher is a professional kitchen brand that helps create neat, comfortable kitchen space for the everyday life. Serves millions worldwide. It's a five-star seller on Amazon. Simple installation, good quality, and keeps everything organized and dry. Also, you have a large capacity, multiple attachments, and it has a 360 swirl spout. And it's also stainless steel too as well. So guys, I absolutely love this. And I will show you guys an example of how the water actually drains onto your sink and how it actually looks on your sink too as well. But as you guys can see, you can fit all of your lovely dishes on here and it just looks so neat put together and just very modern. So right here is the water I was telling you guys about. Like, y'all, yeah, y'all cannot tell me y'all do not need this drying rack. Y'all, yeah, this is a W for me because... The drying racks these days do not even come with a spout like this. So this is absolutely perfect. And as you can see, like I said, it has a little drain hole for the silverware. And it goes right down in the little tunnel right here. And then it ends on the other side. So this is absolutely amazing. I want to thank Kitcher for sponsoring this portion of the video. And if you guys would like to check this out, I will have a coupon code and also the link in the description. So guys, next what I want to show you guys is actually a small-handed back life vacuum. Guys, this is literally the bomb. Like, I've been wanting something small like this just for like my house, also my car to clean my car because it is just very convenient. So right here, I'm just showing you guys all of the pieces that come with it. This back life is actually very powerful. It is very good quality too as well, and I love that. So it comes with a few pieces. You can clean it with like this little brush right here, and it has two little um, attachments. And then also it is a wireless, so basically you can plug it up, and you don't have to um, keep it plugged to use it. And then it also comes with an extra filter too as well. And this is just what it features. It features a very modern looking silver and black little vacuum. And like I said, very comfortable. Backlife is a professional brand that specializes in home and automotive appliances. Also, it is a simple operation, good quality and cost efficient, cordless and convenient both for home and car. It is fast charging and lasts long time. Also, low noise and strong suction, exquisite LED light. And it also has three attachments, fully equipped for all around cleaning. And you can use it for your home, your office, your car. It is absolutely amazing. I have used it already. As you guys can see, it is easy to take apart and then also take the dust out and put it back apart. And my favorite part has to be definitely the flashlight. So right here is actually the battery light. And these actually blink down once it gets like dead. So I've got about at least a good 30 minutes out of here before I had to actually charge it. So it definitely like got my whole car clean. And like I said, I will show you guys 
and it's just a really nice handle and it's not that heavy at all so in this next clip I'll be showing you guys how I actually play my car with this attachment right here so let's go ahead and get started so as promised guys here is a clip of when I was cleaning my car do not judge me it was filthy <laughs> so right here I'm showing you guys how the back life is very convenient you don't even have to go to the car wash and actually clean your car because you can do it right at home and that's why I love this little gadget because it's like the convenience for me so as you can see it's very powerful it is going to clean my whole entire rug I just feel like this is a game changer so as you guys can see it cleans pretty well and I will have the link in the description if you guys would like to purchase also with a coupon code hey my loves and welcome back to a brand new day guys so y'all I have actually been in the house all day today but I was just like I was feeling kind of spontaneous today and y'all I think I'm gonna add a little more just a little more color into the living room I don't know why but I'm really finding myself just doing like the same colors and I feel like I'm gonna fall back into the pattern of like my black and white so I really just want to see if I can just find like different textures patterns for the living room because right now it's just looking real like like it's really nice and elegant but I wanted to just bring a little more extra to it <laughs> you know what I mean it's, it's kind of hard to explain but um I do want to go look for a plants I think I'm gonna start with a plants and then kind of work my way around like the plant and stuff because I feel like the plant will definitely bring a different type of vibe into the space and then that way I'll just start getting like little like different pops of things to add into the space to kind of um make it just look different okay um if you're new here hi my name is Imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning then hey girls welcome back to the channel um so I do want to get out today and I was thinking about going to the at-home store because I feel like that's the store that kind of got like all the different type of stuff um it is snowing right now so i'm not trying to go to a lot of places the time right now is almost like five o'clock so um the weather is so crazy here y'all i was literally just in a dress in my last vlog and now i'm back in my long trench coat boots <laughs> and stuff like that so um i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing and then we're gonna go ahead and get started literally this weather is so crazy like i'm right back in my trench coat with my boots y'all already know my signature for the fall winter and this is what i'm wearing i just basically have on a white turtleneck my cute little black glasses i got from target and i'm wearing my little um hoops right here and i just have like this little like slick back bun long trench coat and then i just have like these little cute little black booties but yeah basically this is what i am wearing today and then i think i'm going to go ahead and take my teddy blake purse and this is basically the look so yeah, let's go ahead and head out guys. I kid y'all not, it's literally snowing right now and it makes zero sense to me. Like living in Ohio is such a depressing, it's so annoying. Like, I was just in a dress. This is so crazy. Y'all, it's literally snowing. If y'all can see this, y'all about to see it in a minute. Okay, I'm trying to think y'all, okay, so. I'm trying to figure out where I actually want to go first. Um, the snow is just so depressing. It makes no sense. But I'm trying to figure out where I want to go first. I did make some iced coffee before I left the house with my little wake-ish cup. Literally feel like, like it's basically like the winter time right now, basically. <laughs> so I'm like, I really want to go to Home Goods. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. We're going to see where I want to go first. But I'm thinking, I don't know what area I want to go. But I do know I just want to bring, like, a pop of color or something. Like, it ain't got to be bright. But just, like, some textures. Maybe a little plant. Just, you know, just something. Something a little saucy. You know, just a little. Y'all know I'm always playing it safe. Even though it turns out beautiful. I do feel like I do keep myself in like a safe zone. Um, yeah. So we're going to see what they got. I ain't making no promises on if I'll get some stuff today. But we just going to catch some vibes today. So let's go ahead and go.
Okay, y'all, so I just found this um, plant right here. So all the plants were like 50% off. I found this plant right here. I didn't want to get like the tropical ones because I feel like I'm not trying to go for that vibe. If I do do greenery inside the living room, I just want it to be something like, maybe like this. Um, and I found like this little like black and white pot and I'm like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. But it is cute though. So comment, let me know. welcome to a brand new day so first off the weather's pretty good today it's not really warm but it's sunny outside so grateful for that um the house is looking gorgeous but you guys first of all <laughs> y'all so look i went okay y'all look Anyways, my little robot vacuum actually empties itself. But anyways, yesterday when I ended up going to Home Goods yesterday, y'all, I picked up a few things, right? They giving sis. I want to show y'all what I got from Home Goods yesterday. So yeah, y'all, it's not ready for this. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> what I'm about to show y'all is totally different from my space right now. Um, am I a little nervous? Yes, sis, I'm nervous. But i seen a vision and i just went after it um i feel like i feel like i've kind of conquered the whole like elegance space and like you know glam space whatever um i think i'm ready for a different type of space now like i said before this is like my regular space and back of me okay love the space love what i did to it love it love it love it um i think this space can be used maybe like all year round um, but I do want to take my space to another level. And um, I think that's what I'm basically about to do. I will not get rid of any of my decor in here, obviously. But I am glad that everything that I have is pretty much neutral. So I don't have to worry about um, things not matching up with colors that I actually bring inside the room. And stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. Um, I am going for a different type of space. But this is not about to be what you think. It's still going to be very much so neutral. Um, but it's just adding different type of elements to the style to actually make it pop uh, more. And just make it, I guess, more modern, really. Um, because I feel like the pieces that I have is definitely like more modern. Um, and just more like, I guess, kind of fashionable, I guess. Maybe. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's really timeless pieces, but I feel like the pieces that I am getting and getting ready to show you guys are pieces that can be used with other pieces. And obviously artwork can always be um, switched in and out and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and get started, y'all, because I'm, I'm, I'm just rambling right now. I don't even know why I'm rambling, but I just wanted to explain to you guys that what I'm about to show you guys is totally different from this elegant, very mature type of space behind me. Um, I just don't want you guys to be shocked. Okay, guys, so this first item that I want to show you guys is actually by the Indian collection. Home Goods, if you don't know, Home Goods do um, have like an Indian collection in their store where they sell like all this like Indian type of um, like home decor, like inspired stuff. So the first thing I did get is this very beautiful vase right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am uh, starting to go for like pieces that's pretty big are actually statement pieces so I won't have to put a ton of small pieces around like I told you guys in my how to elevate your style so I did end up coming across this really beautiful like creamish white vase it is by the Indian collection this vase was I think $22 it was on sale I think originally it's like $25 but this is how it looks right here and it just has like these like sculpted like lines in it which just makes it even more like different so i love this a lot it just has like this little like neck area which i love now i feel like a piece like this could definitely um have like some nice florals and then also guys i feel like um pompous grass will go really pretty in here as well because i was thinking about like some pompous grass that was like not white but i have thought about white <laughs> but 
maybe like some black pompous grass or even like some light gray pompous grass so this is the first thing that, that i end up getting from home goods i love it like i said i want this to definitely probably go on the coffee table um for like that statement piece and then just add like other pieces around it but I don't have to do a lot because obviously this is pretty big. So this is the first thing that I got. Okay guys, so now to the pillows. Like I said before, when I told you guys yesterday I wanted to pop a color, that's exactly what I meant. I wanted to pop a color. <laughs> and I didn't really want to be too safe about it. I really wanted to pop a color and just really just bring some different type of vibes in my home. It's just a different type of atmosphere, but still make it beautiful into my own. I did come across some pillows at Home Goods yesterday, guys, and these are absolutely stunning. Oh my God. I found these really pretty, um, like yellow. It's, it's like a mustard like yellow. Very gorgeous though. As you guys can see, it to me, it kind of reminds me of the Fendi pillows a little bit, but it has like a different type of shape. And I actually like this shape better because it's like elegant and i feel like it could still be like glammed up what i love about this pillow guys is that this pillow um texture in the inside of here is actually like a velvet texture so it's really cute and then like the white pillow in general is like a white linen and then the design is like a velvet so it's very high quality and that's what just makes it look 10 times better absolutely stunning i love this pillow i did get this in a set this is by the Homie Cozy. It says crafted with love for your cozy moment. So it is by Homie Cozy brand, which I think this is the first time that I had got this brand from Home Goods. So I'm really excited. So like I said, I did get two of these. So I have this one. These are actually downy filled. So we all know that's a W, which actually adds more elegance to the vibe. So both of these are downy filled pillows for the $20. I thought that was actually a steal because normally a pillow like this can easily go from like $25 to $30. Um, the dimensions on this pillow, I believe, is a 21 by 21. But these are absolutely stunning. And I just think some um, bigger pillows and maybe like a 24 sitting, sitting behind these will look really cute on the sofa. So like I can see like maybe like some white ones, but in like a 24 inch, I think that'll really make these very gorgeous. So these are these pillows and these came from Home Goods. And both of these pillows were $19.99 a piece. I did end up going ahead and um, purchasing some new curtain rods. As you know, the curtain rods that I have now was actually the same curtain rods that I had for my um, black and white living room set. Basically, end up coming across these right here from Home Goods. I just thought these really made a statement. It's just like a like chrome but not like a real bright chrome but it's like a chrome like silver color so i did end up getting two of these home goods did have these on sale and this is the brand right here so i thought these are really pretty and like i said i got these because they were like a solid color it was just like all like one color and i just think that just looked good to me for some reason um these is by annadale is the brand Okay, so that's the brand right there. And these did come from Home Goods, and this is how they look close up. 36 inches by 72, which I believe is actually a good size. So these should be able to fit my big window um, behind me. And then also these should be able to fit my other window on the other side. But I just love these. I love the chrome silver. I think they look very elegant, and I think they're really gonna make a difference inside of my living room too as well. Like I said, I'll go ahead and keep my white curtains because obviously white will never go out of style. And it just keeps the room very bright and airy. So I will keep my white curtains, obviously. These were on sale for $12. I'm not sure what the price was originally. And I definitely want to hang these up when I do like my new space because I think it's going to make a difference. So love these. And these are from Home Goods. Okay, guys. So the next thing I would like to show you guys is actually the wall art. Now, I am very in a dilemma right now. So I don't know if I want to put this wall art on the mantle or over here obviously eventually i will probably get rid of this um because like i said i am trying to go for like a newer modern style um i know i said that i was gonna get rid of like no decor or anything but i feel like this can definitely go because i feel like it's a very large piece inside of my living room and i feel like once i switch that out i know it will make a ton of a difference in here and once i switch it out to like maybe like a newer like modern like console table i just think it'll really make a difference so obviously eventually i do want to get rid of this because obviously this is not going to really 
go with the style that I'm trying to go for and just the newer style and just modern style um, that I'm trying to go for these days. Eventually what I'm thinking is once I get like a really pretty like console table, I think I want like a mirror to go above it and just really just bring in that next level decor inside of the living room. And I just think it's gonna look really pretty. So eventually I do wanna get rid of the console table obviously for obvious reasons because everything that I'm getting is definitely giving like that hotel lobby vibe but like a very like upscale vibe and that's really the style that I'm going for. So it's safe to say I'm about to have a whole lot of fun with these different colors and textures bringing them inside my space. And with that being said, I wanna show you guys the artwork that I ended up getting from Home Goods yesterday too as well. Now this artwork did come with two pieces. The price on this artwork was actually $70. So I will go ahead and show you guys. And I just thought it was pretty. So yeah. So this is the artwork that I ended up getting from Home Goods. It is pretty big, so I am gonna have to stand up for you guys. As you guys can see, it's pretty massive. I'm gonna scoot it back a little so you guys can get a better look. Now this is the artwork. I'm gonna actually scoot it up just a little bit. This is the artwork that I ended up getting from Home Goods. It is absolutely stunning. Like I love this. So you guys can kind of see how like all the pieces that I have is just gonna go with this artwork perfect, especially the pillows, cause I'm gonna bring out that gold um, from the pillows. And then obviously we have the black and then we have the gray and then we have the white too as well, which is just gonna be perfect for me. Um, like I said, this is two pieces. It is a 26 by 32 made in Canada and it is actually hand embellished art. So that's really nice. It is like a gold trim on it. So the trim is gold and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I thought this was pretty and as you can see right here, this is how the two artworks actually look. So you have this one and this one. So both of them are actually different. I do believe these will look really pretty on the um, mantle up there. Comment if you guys agree. So yeah, because I just feel like with the pillows, bringing out their gold and then having this on the mantle, it's just all just gonna make that space look really pretty and just bring it all together and just tie it really nice. So I want you guys to comment. Let me know what you guys think about the artwork. These did come from Home Goods and they are actually $69.99. And then this is how it looks turned to the side as well. Okay. Really good quality. You guys know that Home Goods sells some really good quality um, pieces. Like I said, these were $70, so they were not cheap. <laughs> just for two of them but the quality is really really nice so really appreciate these pieces i can always switch out artwork pillows and stuff like that as long as i have the right base and to me that's just having like the right um furniture which is now neutral so we can really do a lot and then um having my table that's already like a chrome silver so it's already going to tie in real well with this and then obviously having the chrome curtain rods is definitely going to give me more of a um opportunity to throw any type of curtains up there too as well so comment let me know what you guys think about these and like i said it do come with two so it's one in the front and then one in the back okay guys so obviously it's only one thing that has to be left like what else do you guys think the space will be missing that it will just have to have to really just pull everything together like if you don't know that is plants we got plants y'all girl we got plants y'all and they're pretty gorgeous so as you guys seen yesterday when i was in hobby lobby i showed you guys these plants and i was like oh these plants are really pretty and i showed you guys the plants on like the little pot well i didn't get the little pot that i showed y'all but i did get a different little pot so let me go ahead and show you guys the plants first okay guys so this is actually the plants that i got yesterday i did get two of these these were actually on sale for 50 dollars. it did come from hobby lobby a hundred dollars they charge a lot for these fake plants but as you guys can see it has like the small base and it's pretty tall so it comes all the way up here so it's pretty tall and i will show you guys um these plant um pots that i got to as well that i'm going to actually fill them with that's going to actually look really cute this is actually the pot that i ended up getting from hobby lobby yesterday as well now these were not on sale but they were $19.99 and I thought the pots were really pretty and I just love like that white gloss and I just thought this would really just tie in really nice with the space. So I did end up getting two of these. So this pot do fit the bottom of this. It just has to be filled with stuff around so it. guys, this is how the plants are looking. They are absolutely stunning. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I did get two twinsies because it just made sense. Why would I get two different pots? or two different plants so i did end up getting these plants yesterday i think they are so beautiful like wow and i haven't even like pulled these out so once these get pulled out it's just gonna look even more beautiful 
but um, I have not pulled them out. Um, they're really pretty. And like I said, this is the inside, like I was telling you guys about. I would have to put like some grass and some up here just to kind of like fill it up and stuff like that. But it does fit the bottom of the pot. It's just around it. It's not that thick, but I was not trying to let these pots go um, because I do feel like these go really cute with the space. So I absolutely love these. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I think these were a W and I think these are really going to go real cute with my new space and then just the new and just refreshed beautiful space that I'm trying to go for now. I just think these are essential in any household. Like I said before in my video, how to elevate your space is definitely bringing in those greeneries, whether if it was a faux plant, a real plant or whatever. So yeah, we finally did it. <laughs> we got some plants in the house. So I'm super excited. Comment, let me know if you guys like the um, plants with the pots i think they look super pretty but this is how it looks close up. so y'all the stuff that i'm actually gonna fill these with is actually um i ended up going to michael's and michael's had this um preserved um moss and i was going to take this moss and actually put it inside of the um plants i just thought these were really cute comment below if you guys have any moss at home I've never used moss before, but I just thought this moss would go really cute inside of the plant. So I am going to fill the plant with moss and um, see how it looks. So I'm excited. So this is what I plan on using to actually fill the pots up. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later in the day and I am about to go ahead and start prepping for dinner. Um, I think tonight I'll have some shrimp and chicken tacos tonight. But the time right now is 7, 7.58. So that's the time right now. Um, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and wind down. I want to thank you guys for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that took place today. Um, I want you guys to comment and let me know what are you guys thinking of the new color scheme? And are you guys liking um, the new vibes that I want to bring to the living room? And are you guys excited for this journey? This is like, I feel like this series would be more like the spring summer series, but still, switching my space in the meantime too because i still want to just totally just switch the space just to bring like more like modern up-to-date pieces in here just to make it just more of a vibe than it is so yeah i want you guys to comment let me know which part was your favorite of the vlog if you guys are liking the color scheme that i'm going for and are you guys just excited about the overall new um living room space that i have coming here so i'm really excited um i will add some mirrors because i do believe the new style that i'll be going for can definitely use um a few mirrors now since i'm going for like that upscale like very modern vibe so yeah i'm excited for that also comment let me know what other content would you guys like for me to do on the channel here and then i also have a vacation coming up to as well so let me know if you guys want me to vlog that as well i was thinking about taking my camera with me because i always like to bring you guys on vacation with me so comment let me know if you guys think i should vlog my little vacation it's gonna be kind of tropical so that's the little hint so it's gonna be tropical so yeah um comment let me know if you guys think i should vlog that and if you guys want to see that too as well and then also comment let me know should we do that patio i really want to start the patio in april y'all i'm not gonna lie like i think this video will come out like april 1st but i really want to start the patio series in april i feel like that'll be the perfect time i feel like that's when the weather will really break for us down here in ohio so i do want to go ahead and start the series in april because i want to get as much out of the patio as i can this spring summer and just be out there as much time as i can before the fall and the winter starts to roll back around because y'all know it ain't gonna last long the summer just be like here and it'll be gone like the next minute just super quick it don't even make sense but um yeah guys so yeah comment let me know if you guys would like for me to start the um patio series and stuff like that i do want to get some more furniture i'm very excited for all the changes that's coming to the channel i want you guys to comment your favorite part below and i want to thank you guys for watching and i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys